Welcome, I'm Bev Adams. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! This is the card I'd like to show you today. It uses Dragonfly Dreams and Detailed Dragonfly Thinlets. These coordinate very wonderfully and you can get them as a bundle and save yourself 10%. It also uses the Designer Series paper inside the lines. This is not quite like our usual Designer Series paper. It is one-sided. But I just wanted to show you the full sheets of this paper. Each one is like a little piece of art, except for this one. This one also is um, a whole sheet because it's centered around this piece here. But it's not quite the seam. And then the fourth piece, I've already chopped off a bit of this um, with the dragonflies. The other thing that's a little bit different, most of our papers come two sheets with six designs. This comes with three sheets of four designs, and you cannot buy this paper. You can only get it free with a qualifying order during Celebration. Celebration is Stampin' Up's biggest promotion every year. This year it runs through March 31st, and all of the products in this catalog, this brochure, you can get for free. In the U.S., it's with a $50 order. That $50 is before um, shipping and taxes. And that's for every $50. So if you have a $100 order, you get to pick two things from this catalog. We've got all kinds of embellishments, paper, stamps, lots of fun products. If you need a catalog, let me know and I'll get one off to you. I have cut this designer series paper into three by four pieces, which uses the whole sheet beautifully, but every piece is going to be different. This particular piece came from here, and because everything's different, you're going to want to stamp your greeting in a different place. On my original one, I waited till the end to do this stamping here, and I didn't really have a place to put it. So I'm gonna do my stamping first. I'm using Memento Black ink. I have, this is a photopolymer set, so I've got my stamping mat, and I'll stamp down here where it's most open. And then I'm going to use my watercolor pencils. This set of pencils came out with the Occasions catalog. They came in this box, but I have put them into one of our standard stamp cases. I have this label that you can print off on my website. And it is large enough to fit the whole set of pencils and a blender pen and a small pencil sharpener. So I'm just going to use the green to color in this stem. You can, with this design, you can color everything or just one flower. This is Old Olive. I love the colors in this set. They are some of our standard colors that I hope will stick around forever and ever. We used to have a Getting Started collection of colors, and for the most part, these are the Getting Started colors. A little bit from a lot of the different color families. See it, I'm not trying to do a perfect job of coloring here. I just want to get some color on the pieces. Then I'm using the Melon Mambo. I'm not trying to color dark to get a perfect Melon Mambo, but you could if you wanted to. We are going to be watercoloring, and with watercoloring, you don't have to have a perfect stay in the lines kind of design. Or you can decide to do a beautiful job of coloring. Totally up to you. They're called watercolor pencils because when you add water, it blends all those colors beautifully. You can use the blender pens like I'm using here. Or you can use the aqua painters. I chose the blender pen for this project. I'm not sure that the thinner papers hold up well to a lot of water like you would get with the aqua painters. To change colors you just scribble with the blender pen. The other thing you can use 
Uh, I probably should have saved some more flowers for this. Is the Wink of Stella brushes. And they add, they not only blend the colors, but they add the shimmer. And so I can add a little bit of that on top here. Oh, there's a whole petal that didn't get done. Just adds a little sparkle. Love the Wink of Stella pens. But I don't think I want the sparkle on the stems. I just love these watercolor pencils. Bringing in my Big Shot now and those detailed dragonflies. I'm using the cluster of dragonflies. And I want to have this pretty much to the center because I am going to use the border behind another layer. Cover that up with my clear plate and run it through. And I'm also going to use the smaller of the two detailed dragonflies with just a scrap that I want to use for the body. And run that through the big shot. Then I'm going to remove the thin die adapter and I'm bringing in the petal burst folder and putting my Pacific Point inside. And I do need my two layers for my sandwich. Put a burst in between. I want to stamp a piece of Whisper White, so I'm using Pacific Point. I'm inking it up. Since it's a photopolymer stamp, I have my Stampin' Pierce mat, and I get a good image with that. I have my stamped image with the outline framelit and the vellum cardstock with just a piece of scrap paper behind it and the detailed run it through the big shot a couple of times back and forth. I usually get a good cut one time through but a second time through is a kind of insurance. You could use the die brush if you want. But really this pops right out. Okay, I am ready to stamp the inside of the card. I wanted to wait a bit till I had this piece. Again, I'm using Memento ink. And I'm stamping Enjoy Your Special Day. And I kind of just laid this here so I knew I had space for that. Just a little bit of glue on the back. The Dragonfly bodies are a really easy place to put your glue, and it's okay if those wings rise up a little bit. And I'm ready to assemble my card. So I'm using multi-purpose liquid glue, but this is adhesive of your choice. Any of our adhesives would work for this part. Got my embossed Pacific Point and then my gold layer that I'm just using as the frame here. Adhering my colored piece to the basic black um, with a thinner white cardstock just to be sure I'm going to use either I'm using fast fuse but I might also be willing to use snail. The snail is a little bit more forgiving and this is a tiny border here. I'm going to add some dimensionals to this layer. Sometimes I add a fifth one in the middle. This is a double layer so I'll probably just use the four. This goes on top here. Again, a tiny border. I can put my dragonfly anywhere, but I think I'm going to try and cover up that. So I'm going to add that there. You could use dimensionals on this piece too. I am just going to adhere the body and let the wings be available for fluttering around a little bit. 
and I'm going to add the vellum layer. Now you could snip off the back, the body if you'd like, or you can just add it as a layer here. Either way, it will be covered up with the gold. And the gold, I'm just going to snip off the wings following this line around here. And that goes right over here. And there's my card to a wonderful friend. Just love this stamp set. Between the Inside the Lines Designer Series paper and Dragonfly Dreams, you can really just make those combinations any way you want, and you're going to have a gorgeous card. If you would like the directions for this card and a link to all the products I use, come on over to BevAdams.com. You can look at the PDF of all three of the catalogs that are current right now, the Annual Catalog, the Occasions Mini Catalog, and then that special um, catalog or brochure for celebration. Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate you. Talk to you soon. Bye.